Hey everyone, this is Tracy Panace with the Just Between Friends sales in Oaks and in Reading, and I wanted to provide you with some basic guidelines for clothing and shoe inspection for the upcoming sale. Some just general information, um, clothing must be on hangers. The only exception to that is for onesies or sleepers that are under 24 months and they may be placed in a Ziploc bag. You can place up to five onesies of the same size gender in a Ziploc bag. The hanger should all be facing the same direction and the correct way to do that is your hanger should form a question mark when placed on the rack. So the opening part of the hanger is to the left and the tag is placed on the right and your tags do need to be printed on white cardstock. What defines seasonality for the spring and summer sale? I'll go through some of the basic things that we're looking for. Everything must be appropriate for spring and summer with the exception of maternity. So you're looking for items that your child would wear between April and September and that are the appropriate weight and fabric for those seasons. So lightweight pants, capris, shorts, tops, skirts, bathing suits, those types of things are considered to be appropriate for the spring and summer sale. We do not allow long sleeves over 24 months unless it has a zipper and could be worn as a jacket, and I'll show you an example of that. Or it's a light colored cardigan, that's also okay, so pastels, um, or things that are specifically designed for a spring or summer collection. So if it's like a gymboree outfit or heartstrings, something that is very um, obviously designed for the spring and summer months, that is also okay. Jeans are okay. We accept those both in the fall as well as in the spring. Anything holiday themed for Easter or the 4th of July or any sports teams that only play in the summer months. So the Phillies, if you have a, like a long sleeve shirt for the Phillies, then that would be okay. But Eagles and Flyers, those are more fall sports and those would be appropriate for the fall winter sale in September. We take boys up to size 18 and juniors for girls. We only allow 10 name brand juniors items and those would be sizes zero to five as well as extra small um, through large of juniors. But the brands are limited to things like Abercrombie, Aeropostale, Roxy. There's a complete list on the merchandise prep page of our website. The same thing for maternity. There are specific brands that we accept for maternity. You can find those on the, the merchandise prep. However, those can be for all seasons. And then finally, no adult clothing that is just marked as extra large. It, that's not appropriate for maternity. So it does indeed need to be a maternity brand to be considered a maternity item. So let me show you some examples of what's in. So things like this little shorts outfit, that's definitely in its short sleeve. It's a, a summer weight and material. Same thing with this little outfit for girls. Um, these are long pants, but clearly that is for spring and summer. And here's an example of a long sleeve sweater, which would be appropriate for the spring summer sale because it specifically goes with that white polka dot dress. Um, which is clearly for spring and summer. Some a couple of other examples which might not be as obvious. Um, this is a hoodie. It's a junior item. So it has a zipper. It could be considered a jacket. That is acceptable. Um, these Abercrombie shorts, they are distressed. So there's holes in the item. And we're going to talk about the condition of your clothing in just a moment. But um, the threading that's on there, that's designed to be there. So that is perfectly acceptable for the spring and summer sale. Some things that are out on the left hand side here, this is a long sleeve hoodie. Um, it does have a zipper, but it's fleece. And so fleece fabric is appropriate for the fall winter sale, but not spring summer. Same things with these cute little dresses. They're in mint condition. However, one's velvet and the other one is wool. Um, and those are things that we would not typically wear between April and September. Same thing with this long sleeve t-shirt, that's more than 24 months, that's a size 10 girls, and then the Abercrombie sweatshirt, 
um, does not have a zipper, so that is something that we would keep for fall and winter as well. The condition of your clothing, this is a, a gently used or new consignment sale, so you want to make sure that there are no rips, stains, tears, or excessive wear. Pay close attention to the neck for infant clothing, um, particularly for formula stains. The lighting in the Expo Center is better than the lighting at home, so it's good to do it in front of, look at your stuff in front of a window, making sure that you're seeing everything that we are going to be able to see. Make sure that your zipper zip buttons are intact and all your snaps are snapped. Not only will your items look better, um, but they will also stay on the hanger better if, if everything is zipped up. Your clothing needs to smell good, so um, it has to be free of any smoke or pet odor. And you want to look for excessive pilling, particularly on pajamas and swimsuits. And here's a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. On the left-hand side, we have some uh, swim bottoms that really have a lot of pilliness. That would not be acceptable. This mattress plaid, you can see that there is a big stain there. It kind of blends into the plaid, but that is unacceptable. And then clearly, um, this onesie has formula stains, and that would not be accepted. So let's talk about shoes. As some of you know, we did implement a new shoe policy in the fall. Your shoes need to be new or gently worn, and my instructions to our inspectors is we need to be picky but reasonable. So there is some degree of subjectivity involved. However, I'm sharing with you the same guidelines that they have been given. So hopefully we're all on the same page. We will not accept anything with excessive scuff marks, rips, or really overly dirty shoes because they simply don't sell. Athletic cleats and dance shoes will have more marks than everyday shoes, but please use good judgment. We don't want shoes that have a, a lot of dirt ground into the soles, um, so keep that in mind when you're getting your shoes ready. And shoes must be appropriate for children. Um, no high heels or over a size seven adult. So we'll accept up to size five for children, which is equivalent to seven for adults. So it's big kid size five equals seven for adult. Shoes must also be seasonally appropriate. So we are looking for sandals, open-toed shoes, uh, flip-flops, Crocs are okay as long as they don't have that fleece lining, sneakers and dance shoes, um, are all perfectly fine for the spring sale. Rain boots are in and snow boots are out. Roller skates are okay and ice skates are not. Hopefully we will not need those between April and September, although you never know. So here's a couple of examples. These are seasonally appropriate shoes. Um, you can see they're open-toed or they're swim shoes. Those are all great for the spring and summer sale. Here's some examples of boy shoes. So these boy shoes on the left, they do have some scuff marks on the toes. That's okay. Uh, you know, they're not going to be brand new. Um, however, I'll show you another example of scuff marks on the toes, which would not be acceptable. And then on the right-hand side, these are some big kids shoes. Um, they are a size five big kids, seven adults, so those would be okay, and they're in really good condition. Here's some examples of what's not okay. So on the left-hand side, we have uh, some tennis shoes that the shoelaces are all frayed. These shoes, clearly, the, the bed of the shoe is dirty, plus it's ripped. And then on the right-hand side, these scuff marks go all the way across the top of the toe. Um, and so for that reason, those are out. Before you get to the sale, clean up those shoes. Um, these Crocs are an excellent example of what a magic eraser can do. Or if you have leather wipes, those can help too. So the shoe on the left is dirty. The shoe on the right is clean. And all that was was a magic eraser or Clorox wipe to, to clean those up. The better your shoes look, the better they're going to sell. Same thing with dirt in the shoes. Take a little brush and scrub that. We will have some supplies at the sale. If your shoes do not pass inspection because they're dirty, you're welcome to clean those up. We don't have time to do that for you, but you're welcome to do that yourself. 
A couple of other examples of what's out. Um, the rain boots are okay. Theirs are perfectly fine. However, the lining in these boots is not okay. So that ripped lining is a no. Um, and then on the right-hand side, these shoes, they do have a little bit of scuff marks on the toe. That would be okay. That's considered normal wear and tear, but we would reject these because they're not seasonally appropriate. So the suede would be more appropriate for the fall and winter sale than the spring summer sale. So hopefully that gives you some good guidelines and things to look at as you're preparing for the sale. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or email me. And thank you so much for taking time to bring good quality items to the sale. We'll see you soon.